So in this video, we are going to talk about logarithm. We are going to discuss the properties of log. We are going to talk about the power rule, the product rule, the quotient rule, etc. Now let's start with the power rule. Now if you have log x exponent n base a, then you can transfer the n behind the log so that you have n log x base a so for example if you have log 2 exponent 3 base x then you want to write that as 3 log 2 base x because you are going to transfer the 3 behind the log so that you have this so this is called the power rule Now let's move on and talk about the product rule. Log x base a plus log y base a is equal to log x y base a. So basically what this means is that if you want to add two logs of the same base, then you want to multiply x and y so that you have log x y base a. Example, if you have log 2 base 2 plus log 3 base 2 then you are going to get log 2 times 3 base 2 now 2 times 3 is 6 so you are going to get log 6 you are going to get log 6 base 2 so now let's talk about the quotient rule the quotient rule is when you have log x base a minus log y base a and then it's equal to log x over y base a so what this primarily means is that if you want to subtract logs of the same base then you want to divide x by y so log x base a minus log y base a is equal to log x over y base a so if you have log 5 base 10 minus log 2 base 10 then it's equal to log 5 divided by 2 base 10 so now let's talk about having logs of the same base so if you have log a base a then it's equal to 1 this is because this is the same as this so whenever you have log of the same base then it's equal to 1 now let's try this example log 3 base 3 is equal to 1 log 2 base 2 is also equal to 1 log x base x is also equal to 1 so whenever you have log of the same base then it's equal to 1. Now, what is log 1 to the base 10? Log 1 to any base is equal to 0. How do we arrive at 0? We know that any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we can rewrite this as log 10 base 10 exponent 0. We are going to transfer the zero behind the log. So we are going to have zero times log 10 base 10. Now log 10 base 10 is equal to 1. So we have zero times 1, which is equal to zero. So if you have log 1 to any base, it's going to give you zero.